my God. Like, did you just literally stay in a room for 14 days straight? Yeah. Doing, eating, dieting, doing training, everything else. And you're thinking, wow, you know what? No matter how you look at anything, that is something that you you never thought you'd be able to do. Yeah. And you've just accomplished it. Sa- wow. Samson, well, Samson, did you did you feel at any point that your physique was starting to deteriorate? Because I can imagine the panic. You know, when you're like you're you're in a you know, I, even see I, I travel to contest, you're checking your abs every ten minutes and there's nothing changing. And in your eyes, you you, you can't trust your own eyes because you're in prep mode. Did you did you feel your physique and what was that like? Every, every damn time. All the time. Yeah. You know. You're in a room. Normally, you'll be able to have a second eye to come calm you and say, "Look, yeah, that's my point. It's, it's not. It's, it's just in your mind. It's in your head. It's cool. Don't worry about it." But this time, it was like you're looking at it. And you're thinking, "This is crap. I'm losing muscle. Oh, this is crap. I'm not. I'm looking holding water. This is." And you're looking in the mirror like everything. So basically, I started. It got so bad to the point where I was like, "Okay, you know what? I will check myself once in the morning after I do cardio. The rest of the day, I'll be in clothes. I will not look at myself again in the mirror Good. because it was literally eating you inside." And I was mm-hmm. like, "Nah." Whatever you do, focus on everything else. Don't worry about it because just follow the plan. Don't, don't, don't focus on. Don't look, you know. Good. And did it was basically just getting by like that. Yeah, yeah. day by day. You know? Did you, did you get yourself? Yeah. I mean, obviously, you, um, do you, a strict routine. Uh, did you have the same strict routine every oh. single day in those fourteen days in the room? Yep, yep. You had to because it was. If you didn't, you would be just. You would lay in bed and be like, "Oh, I wouldn't get up to what time? I don't care. Whatever." Yeah. So I know food. Okay, I got to get up do breakfast i gotta do cardio first hmm. so i get out of bed you know look at the time start running on the spot do my half an hour to an hour cardio in the morning God. straight up have breakfast running have a spot. shower okay watch tv for a bit fall go back to sleep yeah. wake up second meal okay do that okay watch tv for a bit go back to sleep so you're almost like and because the time shift was so different where in korea doing when it's daytime here it was basically coming to you it was still midnight you yeah. know it was still like you so it wasn't like you could talk to people that you know back home and stuff like that. You couldn't talk to them until it got to late afternoon when okay. they're waking up. Yeah. So it was just basically the time schedule was all, and you were basically trying to fill out those spots and just like you know keep yourself busy in that sense. Mm. But it was it was definitely a funny one. It was just you you basically become your worst enemy. Your mind becomes something that you need to make sure you keep control of, and you have to stay on top of that because of it's not the physique that you have to worry about. It's not that it's literally what your mind starts playing with you and what you do about it. Yeah. That's what becomes your biggest enemy. So it was basically staying on top of those things most of all. So I'm just, I'm curious as, as to how they managed to do this kind of, uh, this, this whole media blackout, don't tell anyone. Was there any, was there any leaks or was that, how strict were they? Tell Uh-oh. us, tell us about the whole, because I mean, I can't imagine trying to keep a show from yeah. like so you weren't even allowed to tell your partner you're competing or yeah yeah because basically what happened right when they announced that the show was going to be cancelled yeah this was after i came out of two weeks quarantine and then another two weeks outside yeah and you were like okay and then basically it was i went back to the gym for a week and then at the end of that week the government tightened restraints again because of the coronavirus and they shut down all the gyms okay so it was like okay well we're back to this again you know and then they basically canceled the show. I said, look, officially, the phone is canceled, everything else. But then, right after that, well, I was already flipping out, thinking, oh, my God, I just wasted <laughs> Oh, God. You, know, you can imagine the yeah. conversation. It was just completely like, you know what, this complete water waste of time. So, basically, they said, look, what we're doing is we're going to keep it completely quiet. We're going to have the show, pro show happen. Yeah. But nothing can leak out. We literally have to keep it completely quiet. At this point, I'm thinking... Yeah, they're saying, really? How, how are you going to make this happen? This is, come on, man, really? But they say, look, this is what they're going to do with that. If, if anything leaks out before the show, they're going to have to cancel it. Yeah. So it was all, so, so basically, it was the responsibility was on every single athlete that, guys, yeah. look, if you let this leak, the show is canceled and you will have no show. Yeah, exactly. So, with that perspective, you're thinking, man, hey, I'm, I'm out shut. 